Hey, good coffee morning, tubes. I'm going to share a video in the description or comments or both from a neighbor lives in Japan and takes a lot of walks and surveys the world around him with a Geiger counter, actually with a few Geiger counters. And he's got setups so that he takes the measurements at different heights or he'll do different things like discrete samples and just share the videos. He will turn off comments because this draws noise, right? All he's doing is sharing some of his time and some of his days with some reasonable instruments. So if you wonder if Japan is safe, you should still wonder. Because what he's showing is small dirt piles that are usually washes from larger areas. And what's found is this isn't washing everything out to sea. The ground is absorbing this much more than was expected and much quicker than expected. So it was a bit of noose. Now they knew this happened, this migration into the soil, but it was a new understanding of different soil chemistries reacting with. So we didn't learn anything new. We got more precise about it. The fallout patterns, the way things fell out. There are agencies monitor anyway. So if you take a look at Kien, Kien and Naru, pardon my French, video, he's got a meter on the ground, he's got a meter in the air, and I was seeing, you know, 80s, 100s. Then I noticed up in the corner of that meter, it's times a thousand. So while I've been in higher radiation areas, that one's unnerving. So he's got a massive, massive reading, and all he shared is counts, which is my recommendation from these meters. Because when you convert to a dose, you're kidding yourself, unless you know what the dose is of. So you'll notice this meter gets screams when it gets closer to that dirt on the ground. That is now a point source. Instead of evenly distributed and you can't point the meter in a direction and find something, now you've got a puddle nicely filled with <laughs> isotopes and elements and compounds. So that screaming radiation in that puddle, is that a problem? Well, you drive your car through it and it splashes on the car and drips in the garage and the kids go play. You track it in on your shoes because you were out walking around. I must admire the Japanese ethos of put, leaving your shoes at the door. They're probably not quite sure why they do that, but there's more than a few good reasons besides tracking dirt in the house. So that meter, that instrument, those instruments, he has a good chunk of them, are <laughs> relative measurements because each instrument has its own unique characteristics. So if you did get a good instrument, an appropriate instrument, or you sent samples off for appropriate measurements, you can learn more about what's in that soil. And yes, it does matter. It absolutely does matter. So tickets to Japan are down. Personally, I wouldn't take kids to the Olympics. I wouldn't go to the Olympics. If I went, I would go with the best meter I could find. And I can't afford the ticket or the meter, so. And I wouldn't Olympics. Yeah, I would. I'd be doing the nuclear Olympics for y'all. So anyway, take a look at that video. Listen to that meter screaming. If the meter is 10 feet away, you wouldn't know. You could be sitting at the picnic table watching your kids playing in something like that. You could stumble and fall and get those materials abraded into your skin. Or they could be nasty enough because of what we're finding. They are. <laughs> they are not um, 
our pH. So skin absorption with these things is a problem with the minerals themselves that haven't decayed yet. So your body can build them up and they will decay because that's their nature. I've heard questions about decay rates. Nothing has changed in decay rate physics or sciences. There has been no monumental changes. There might have been incremental changes to the measurements around a specific isotope's decay rate. So we got more precise about these things. But it's settled science. We know it. Enjoy it. Take it back. Good luck. Good coffee. Good Thanksgiving for... I don't know how to go back in time, so if we're going to move forward, let's uh, do it wisely.